Studies have shown that up to 87% of endurance athletes become physically impaired during their workouts and competitions due to dehydration, despite having ample access to fluids. Now, considering that the rate at which we lose fluids and electrolytes varies significantly from one person to another, this really shouldn't be surprising at all, especially considering that there haven't been really any super convenient ways to track this, and certainly not in real time. So this is why the recent release of the Nix Hydration Biosensor, uh, this small device right here, has the potential to be a revolutionary tool to help endurance athletes maximize their performance. So what exactly does it do? Well, the Nix Hydration Biosensor is the first biosensor to be able to analyze your sweat and provide endurance athletes with personalized hydration data in real time. With a pod that you wear on the outside of your upper arm, Nix continuously measures sweat throughout your workout our race and sends personalized notifications to your phone or watch in real time to tell you when, what, and how much to drink, thus eliminating any guesswork on how to stay optimally hydrated. So how does it all work? Well, honestly, using the NYX biosensor is fairly simple and straightforward. First, you'll need to set up your workout on the NYX app. Currently, the options include indoor and outdoor running, as well as indoor and outdoor cycling. Then, once you have the patch adhered to the outside of your bicep, you can attach, snap, and lock the pod into place. The pod connects and sends real-time data from the sensor in the patch to your phone via Bluetooth. And on the app, you can also specify what sort of drink you will be rehydrating with, and there are a lot Lots of options already preloaded into the app, but you can create a custom drink should you need to. Now, Nix analyzes both your water loss and electrolyte loss, so it can give better recommendations if it knows exactly what sort of drink you'll be replenishing with. And before you start your workout, you can also set up notifications if you would like to. So you can choose to be reminded on a set time cadence, like every five minutes, or after a certain amount of water loss, like every four or five ounces. Now, once you start the workout, it can take up to 25 minutes for enough sweat to reach the sensors before the data will begin to appear, but when it does, you can see this data on your phone, on an Apple Watch, or on most Garmin watches or bike computers. And Nick says it will expand this to more platforms like Strava, Wahoo, Training Peaks, Zwift, and others soon. Now here's what I like, because hydration is so crucial for endurance performance, and since sweat rates are so different from one person to the next, you know, like some people sweat a lot, and others maybe just a tiny bit by comparison. So I was excited to test this out and get more personalized data for myself. And Nix absolutely delivered here. So during my initial test with Nix, it was a 90 minute run, and I was able to see both my fluid loss and electrolyte loss in real time, and also discover my fluid fluid loss per hour. Additionally, Nix was able to analyze my sweat and show me my electrolyte loss per ounce so I could make better choices about which sort of drink would be best for me to use in future workouts. Now, sweat rates don't just vary from individual to individual, but it'll also vary a lot depending on the temperature and the humidity. And so Nix takes a look at the local weather and gives you what they call a Nix score from zero to 100, the more hot and dry weather earning a higher score. The more you use Nix, the more it creates what it calls a sweat profile for you so you can get a better understanding of how you'll need to hydrate under various conditions. Now, knowing more about my personal rate of fluid and electrolyte loss will absolutely help me to prepare my hydration strategy for future longer workouts and races. Now, another thing that I liked with Nix is the battery life and the data storage. The battery life of the Nix pod is around 24 hours and it can store the data locally if you don't keep your phone on you. And I know this because my phone actually died halfway through my initial 90 minute run. And I was just really worried that I wouldn't be able to get all or any of the data. But once I charged my phone later on and I opened up the Nix app, I was pleasantly surprised to see all of my data being uploaded from Nix to the app. Also, if you're finding this video useful and you want to help support me and the channel, make sure to hit that like button, which helps signal YouTube to share it with others. Thanks. Okay, so what didn't I like? Well, the biggest issue currently with Nix is its watch integrations. In order to see your data and get notifications on the Apple Watch, for example, you'll have to have the Nix app running during your workout. 
And this is fine, but because of the way the Apple Watch is designed, you can't run another workout app simultaneously. And the Nix Watch app is just very basic with only your heart rate, distance, and current pace being displayed. And this means in order to use Nix on your Apple Watch, you'll need to forego data like power output, ground contact time, or the ability to take splits, or really any other features that you'd want to use on the watch. The app on the Garmin works in a similar way. To get the Nix data, you'll need to install and use the Nix app on the Garmin. And again, you'll be limited to the data that you see and you won't be able to use your regular running data or be able to set up navigation. Now, of course, you could choose not to use the Nix app on your watch and just keep it on your phone. And this is actually what I chose to do, but it's not really ideal as I typically keep my phone packed away in a pouch if I bring it at all. And Nix is just so much more useful when you can see your hydration status in real time on your wrist. Now, Nix is also a brand new device, so I can understand that there are going to be current limitations, but hopefully they can improve on this app on the Apple Watch and make it so you can also add that Nix info to your regular run configuration on the Garmin watches. Also to mention, Nix says that their biosensor is only designed to be used for endurance events, but I was still curious to see if I could use it during the day to analyze my hydration outside of workouts. Though after trying for several hours, Nix was not able to give me any data. I guess me typing doesn't work up quite enough of a sweat for it to work. Now in terms of price, the Nix Hydration Biosensor currently costs 129 US dollars and comes with one pod, the charger, which also works as a case, which is pretty nice, a cable to use with the charger, and four patches. The pod attaches to these adhesive patches, which contain the sensors and are single use only. And after going through the included patches, refill packs of four can be purchased from their website for $25. Now, despite their current less than stellar watch integrations and the cost for the refill packs, I think the Nix Hydration Biosensor is still a huge game changer for endurance athletes. Being able to easily see and understand your personalized fluid and electrolyte loss, as well as electrolyte composition, is just a huge advantage. And the price for the refills for me may be a bit high, but this isn't something that I'd use every training session anyways, probably just once every week or every few weeks and definitely on race day. But overall, I am super excited about this tech. I'm super excited about this product in general, and I plan on using it for the long term to help me with my endurance efforts. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, this is Colin with Connect the Watts. Appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.